public transportation. It may not sound like the most exciting topic, hey, 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 but if you're like me and you rely on it pretty regularly, you have some experiences. Before I moved to Chicago, I had no experience with public transportation. It didn't take me that long to get used to it, but for the first few weeks, I got pretty anxious. Like the first night I rode the subway, I was with a group of friends and the subway car just kept shaking around really fast because apparently subways do that and nobody decided to tell the freshmen. So I managed to keep my cool, but in the back of my head, I just kept thinking, I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, a few weeks later, I took the bus for the first time and I ended up missing my stop because I didn't know how to get off. How do I stop this crazy thing? Oh, and just to be clear, I don't hate public transportation or think that I'm better than it. It's just kind of a mixed bag. Like the CTA has been there for me so many times, but I can also not tell you the amount of times I'm waiting for a bus. I check my phone. It says it was supposed to be there five minutes ago and the next one won't be there for 15 minutes. And right as I make it halfway to my destination, and most of the time I take the CTA, it's fine and normal, but I do have a few stories. Like this one time I was waiting for a train with my friend and he was having a really hard time and we were talking about something really personal, so I can't say exactly what, but it was along the lines of, My dog died. Yeah, man, that's hard, but you know, I'm here for you. And then a guy just starts peeing on the track. I remember we exchanged a look and he honestly did not care. It's other time my friends and I were on the train and there was this little girl going from person to person and she came up to us and asked, Would you like to buy some chocolate? Unfortunately, we didn't have any cash, so we just shook our heads. Okay. Thank you. Then she tries to get through this crowd of people at the end of the cart, but she can't get through them, so she just says, Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey! It was honestly pretty amazing. One time I was on a bus and there was an eggshell all over the bus seat. I have no idea, but I need to know why it was there. Was somebody trying to cook with it? Did somebody buy a lot of eggs and just forgot to put them in a carton? Do chickens ride the bus? This other time my friends and I were coming back from a bar. Nobody was drunk. I mean, we did have a few beers, but we were all safe. Don't judge us. Anyways, after we got off the train, one of my friends just looked at the tracks and stopped. He looked like he saw a ghost. So I looked over in that direction and I found this. Normally it wouldn't freak us out too much, but since we had a little bit to drink, we thought it was a body. All in all, while the CTA may smell like urine, I am thankful for it because my broke call itself would have a lot harder time getting around without it. Also, free eggs. And thank you for watching this new video. Yeah, that's not a good sign off. Just want to give a quick thank you to Sky and Justin who voiced some of the characters in this video. Sky's a really amazing artist and animator here on YouTube. And Justin was available. I'm just kidding. Justin is one of my friends I've known for years and he also makes really great vlogs on his channel and you should go check them out because you know, I didn't pay them. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good 4th of July weekend and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. What was that? <laughs>